Hey guys, it's Stefan, and today I'm going to be reading Chapter 10 of Eddie and the Lizard Man. Now, in the last chapter, Eddie followed his boss, Kevin Kennedy, down dark alleys as his boss was carrying two very suspicious uh, burgundy suitcases. What is Kevin up to? Well, let's keep reading to find out. Chapter 10, Wet Willies. Morgan Street was significant because it was the street where Cheap and Go was located. Cheap and Go was significant because it was the convenience store where Eddie got his beef sticks, easy cheese, and slush drinks. Being so close to Cheap and Go reminded Eddie that once he had proven Kevin was a reptilian, he needed to drop by there and pick up some more easy cheese. As Eddie was making a mental shopping list of other items he needed to buy, he saw Kevin disappear down yet another alley. He cautiously approached the corner of the alley and, crouching behind a trash can, looked around the corner into a bleak, obscurely lit passage that led to a door Kevin was nearing. It was on the back side of a large building. On either side of the door were two barred windows that had been blacked out. Stenciled on the door was a sign that read, Authorized Personnel Only. Eddie snapped off a couple more photos as Kevin entered the building. The door shut with a thud behind Kevin. Eddie looked thoughtfully at the shut door. It seemed to be challenging him, daring him. Then he let out a long, breathy sigh. This kind of sigh that someone lets out when resolving to do something truly great, like committing to train for a marathon, or asking someone to marry them, or, in this case, following a suspected lizard man into a scary building. The kind of sigh that says, this might be terribly frightening, but if I don't do it, no one will. Yes, it was with that kind of sigh that Eddie mustered all his courage and approached the door. Then, with great resolve, he turned the doorknob and entered the building in pursuit of the truth. On the other side of the door, Eddie found himself standing in what seemed to be a dimly lit backstage area. All around him were mic stands, can lights, and other such implements used for various types of stage productions. Then he heard a voice coming from the other side of a tall black curtain that hung just a few feet in front of him. He looked around inquisitively as he was drawn to the edge of the curtain by a sudden round of laughter. Peering around the curtain, Eddie could see a lone performer standing on a scuffed wooden stage floor lit in green, purple, and blue lights. The situation started to make sense to Eddie. The person on the stage was in the middle of a stand-up comedy routine. Oh! I must be inside Wet Willies. Wet Willies was a music venue and bar located on Morgan Street. It hosted an open mic night every Thursday. Eddie had never been to the place before and began to wonder what Kevin was doing there with two mysterious burgundy suitcases. This train of thought was interrupted by the same strange whirring noise he had heard earlier that day. It was coming from deeper backstage. Eddie whispered to himself anxiously, Oh no! It's already begun. And although Eddie wasn't sure what had begun, he was sure that if lizard people were involved, it wasn't going to be good. He had to find out what Kevin was up to. That noise, it's, it's gotta be some kind of signal or communication. But what does it mean? For a moment, fear threatened to paralyze Eddie. However, another round of laughter from the crowd on the other side of the curtain reminded him that there were people counting on him, whether they knew it or not and backing down wasn't an option. One thing that I really like about Eddie is how brave he is. Now, he does get scared, but he never lets fear keep him from doing the thing that he believes is right. That's an awesome trait. But what about you? Have you ever been really scared to do something and you had to muster the courage to do it anyway? Let me know what your bravery story is in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And remember that you can get your own copy of Eddie and the Lizard Man by clicking the links in the description box. And if you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe. And join me next time as I continue our reading of Eddie and the Lizard Man in Chapter 11, Eddie and the Giant. Stay curious.